by way of formal introduction, I am workman of the Duwamish tribe. And great 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 grandson of Chief Siara. It is good to see you, my friends. And this is simply, thank you, my friends. Thank you, our warriors, for your work that you do and that you have done for this place, this land, this pud. The Mother Earth. I'll do it to Hawk. I'll keep it up. I'll do it. 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 Sully Ka Atatistabe. He could talk shada, Sully Adisha Pud. You have Hik Oyayus, the top shada. A long time ago on this land once lived many people, many warriors. They lived over there and over there and over there and over there. And they lived everywhere. Asla Hill, Adisha Pud. Ka Atatistabi Saliata Swatswat Tufte. And today, those warriors still live. For as the Wamish, we are part of this land. Just as my grandfather said years ago, how can you own the land when you're part of the land? And it's in the grass, it's in the trees, it's in the plants, it's in the berries where we reside. All of those people that were once here, all of those people that fought were once here. And so it's an honor to welcome people to this land, just as my grandfather did 160 something years ago. When he says, <laughs> Bring your canoes ashore, my friends. Bring your canoes ashore onto this land of the Duwamish. This word gui, it means invite, it means welcome. So when we say gui gui, it means welcome more. When we include idaka on the end, it means everybody is welcome. And so it's my privilege, it's my honor to welcome onto this land today, just as my grandfather did years and years and years ago.